washed it so it is still pretty wet I just like blotted it dry so I'm going to attempt to do a wash and go um, just because I have nothing really to do tomorrow and for the rest of the day so I can let my hair air dry um, so I discover a product well a curly product line called curl dynasty and this is not sponsored or anything but I saw them on Instagram and then I found it in the store which I had to go online and look like at fine locations to see where they sell it. So it's at two places in Atlanta and they're like at these natural hair stores. So I picked up some items because I really want to try something else with my hair. So I got this Kalahari leave-in conditioner which I'm going to be applying a little bit of. Um, icing on a curl which is a whipped hair butter. I love to whip stuff. And then last but not least was a vanilla cream custard curl defining cream and I'm obsessed with the smell of vanilla so I had to get it and this is what I want to try on my hair um, for a wash and go. So first I'm just going to take a little bit of the leave-in conditioner, literally like a tiny bit because I have very fine hair and it gets weighed down really easily. So I'm not going to use like any um combs or brushes when I do this because my curls are already like pretty tight and the shrinkage is real as you can see the shrinkage is real so I don't want to like make it shrink anymore so yeah so I put that in and then I'm going to take the vanilla cream custard and this stuff is kind of heavy so I'm going to take about it smells so good I'm gonna take about like this much put it in my hand and I'm gonna do this side first but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take it and just put it through the hair like this so instead of like um, putting it in sections and doing it I'm just gonna do this whole side and stretching it and pulling it and I'm not going to comb or brush it at all so I'm just like kind of working it into the hair without like finger combing it and I'm just kind of like smoothing it out until it feels pretty smooth so yeah I'm new at this like wash and go um, natural hair stuff but it's cool it's cool so I'm just gonna do that so um, as y'all saw that right like I have kind of heat damage strands in the front so we're just gonna do that so do that side and then I'm going to take some more a little bit more than the other side because there's more hair on here because I do have a part kind of on the side and now 
I'm going to take my um, icing on a curl. So this is like literally all I'm doing for my wash and go, putting those products on it and letting it dry like this. Uh, so this is icing on a curl and I'm going to, it's whipped, so it's not that hard. But I love this for the front of my hair, so I'm just going to take it um, and put it like on the front of my hair to smooth it down. And I am going to take a satin, satin, silk, whatever you want to call it, scarf to lay the front of my hair down. So, I'm gonna put some more. I see it's like chunky up here. I will fix that. So, I'm gonna put it over here. And at night, I am putting like castor oil and peppermint oil on my edges. And I try not to do too much with them now because I really need them to grow back. So, before y'all come at me, I'm working on it, okay? All right. So,. There we go. And I'm going to take this brush. This is a soft brush, so it's not really hard. I don't really want to put hard brushes on the front of my hair anymore because they pull your hair, break your hair off. So I'm just going to do that. Do a little, I don't know what I just did right there. We're just going to brush it back like this. Okay. So I'm gonna leave it like that. Then I'm going to take my scarf, and I love this scarf because it is like a silky satin star scarf, but it kind of stretches, and it's really long. I got it at Walmart for those who wanna know. So I'm gonna fold it like that, and then I just take it, and I'm putting it on my edges, and I'm gonna tie it like so uh -uh. okay okay so make sure my hair is out from under the scarf Voila. okay so i'm gonna let this air dry hopefully it doesn't take forever we're gonna come back in a few hours and see how this washing go with okay so hey you guys this is the final look of my wash and go and trying those new products so um normally i don't do wash and goes and i rarely wear my real hair but i really wanted to try that product just to see how it worked and what my hair would look like while doing a wash and go so my hair is like 90 percent dry it took probably like an hour and a half to dry all the way um, but yeah, I need to get my hair trimmed so bad, probably. Um, my hair is really not cut into a style. I just let it do its thing, basically. So I did like part it on the side, just so like, I don't like middle parts, really. So um, I like side parts better. And this side, I'm still like working on. So I just put it to the side and called it a day but as you can see my curls are super duper tight um yeah so my hair is down to here um i stretch it and i have to put that back up now it looks a little crazy but yeah so i think this wash and go is cute i'm just so not used to this and like I don't know it's just really hard to get used to this style and if I work out this will be a hot mess because I sweat so much when I work out that if I wore my hair like this it will probably just be like a shriveled up ball so I don't know but I am gonna play with it and try some different styles like I might braid this side and do something so I'm just gonna go play with it for a little bit if I do something extravagant or exciting I will show you guys um I think next week I'm going to take my perm rides I have to buy some more because I don't have enough for my whole head but I really want to take some perm rides or flexi rods and flexi ride my whole hair 
and see what it looks like like that. So this year I am playing around with more natural hairstyles, just see what works best for me. Um, I have tried a twist out before and that was very interesting because my hair is super, super fine and really soft. So when I do a twist out, it's not as big as like everybody else's. It kind of gets like, mm, it looks like limp or something. And I've been looking at natural hair videos with people who have like the same hair type as me, have like really fine hair, um, just to see like what they do and how they do their twist out. So I'm gonna try that eventually, um, as soon as I can get it together. But yeah, I'll list all the products I use below for this. Um, so yeah, I did like that product. It does, I feel like it locks your curl in um because it's not like crunchy but it has like a kind of like medium hold feel to it so i think that's good next time i'll probably actually finger comb it just so the curl the um product can get in the back of the hair like in between because it's more so like on the outside and like the these pieces right here are just like there like they don't they're not defined or anything so I will say like that defining cream did define the curls like you can see some of them are like super tight and super curly but yes um, please let me know because it's 2019 and I want to do more natural hair videos so this was the first one so please let me know like what other kind of natural hair videos you want me to do I'm um, like if it's a style or a full wash routine which I already have on my channel but yeah please let me know what else you would like to see and I will see you guys next time bye you guys